D&D gang, what's going on guys? Another video today. You know the drill. I'm gonna give you the quick rundown. We're gonna get right to fishing. First off, I'm Dan. We do everything from fishing to hunting on this channel. Weekly videos, at least one video a week. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you guys are clicking that button. Today we are back at that crystal clear mountain creek where we got into those wild brown trout. So for those of you who saw part one, there was a lot of positive feedback. Today we're back for part two. The original plan was to go upstream, fish the section you guys didn't get to see, but um, we actually have a lot of time today. So we're gonna be able to retrace our steps, hopefully catch a couple of more fish in those sections that were productive the last time we were here, and then we'll get on up to that upper section, see if we can get into some bigger fish. Let me show you what flies I'm using, and we're gonna get right in the water. Alrighty guys, today I got my nine foot five weight. So we got a black woolly bugger, pretty basic, and then we got this little sexy waltz dropper with a hot spot. That's in front of the bugger about 20 inches. So we're gonna run these two in a tandem ring and see what we can get. So, we're back at this really nice pool. Now we lost a trout last time we were here in this pool, so we're gonna try to get that one. We're gonna sneak up to the very bottom, just like we did last time, work our way up. By the way, through that section we fished, just taking a couple casts here and there to work our way upstream. I missed two, two nice fish. So uh, that stinks, but we're gonna get in here, hopefully catch that trout we missed last time and then maybe even get a bigger one up in the head of the pool. Let's get in there, see what we can do. I hope you can hear me over the water. Really struggling so far. The water is much lower than last time. And these trout are all in the very, very back end of the softest spots. And they're just spooking really easy. I've, I've spooked a couple on my own. And believe it or not, that big black woolly bugger has even spooked a couple fish. As it's coming down, the fish just swam away. Didn't like it, so uh, that's gone. I replaced that woolly bugger with a little hare's ear. I'll show you that in just a second. We're gonna head upstream to some of the better pools and uh, finish out the day. I would probably set a goal of five fish. Five trout from here through the rest of the day. So. so there's the first fly that we had on from the start. It's a 16. And then I just put on this little, let me try to show you it a little better. A little lively, there you go, a little lively legs, hair's ear.
<laughs> Alrighty guys, at least we caught one trout. I don't know if people are really watching these videos and trying to, you know, track down where I'm fishing. I don't know if this got fished out. Or, or what's going on, but I mean, I usually, I usually hammer this place. If you guys want to see a little bit more action, just go to my channel and go back like three videos. We caught a fair amount of fish last time we were here, so if you want to see more fish caught, definitely check that out. I'll leave that link in the description for you, but uh, I'm just going to show you this trout really quick, and then we'll release them downstream. I don't want them to swim back into that pool and spook you know, other fish, so hopefully we can catch a couple out of here. Let me show you this trout, we'll get them back in. All right, wild brown trout, not very big, but it's what we're going after. See that canyon? This is not fun to hike in and out of, especially with snowy leaves, so happy I didn't break an ankle or a leg today. Sorry about the lack of trout in this particular video. If you guys are new to the channel, I'm not a master fly fisherman, so if you're expecting to see 10 minutes of edited footage, fish every cast, not going to happen on this channel, but uh, I'll be back here. We will get our revenge. We're going to have like a 10 or a 15 fish day some, at some point. Appreciate the support guys, I'll see you in the next video.